Hi, I'm Arthur from Reveltronics. Today I'd like to show you how to program W74M authentication flash, how to check if flash has already programmed any keys and how to program keys. Generally, W74M is standard 25 SPI flash with additional layer for authentication. It stores up to four one-time programmable keys. What's important? Keys does not encrypt any data in flash. It's only used for authentication. You can program these devices as usual W25 series flash. Host device has a key and slave device has a key. Authentication will pass only if key in slave device is the same as key in host device. Authentication can be used to distinguish original device from clone device. Here you have part numbers for authentication flash devices. I will be working with W74M12JW and I will be also using Revelproc IS programmer. Okay, let's start Revelproc IS application. Select tools, flash SPI, W74 secure authentication flash. Click accept and connect. Here we can see few things. First of all, chip ID is identified as standard W25Q flash. It's because this is the same chip. W74 only has additional layer for authentication. Secondly, we can see four root keys. You can't read these keys. It's encrypted with SHA-256 algorithm. Each key can be programmed once, so you cannot change programmed keys. You can program keys only to empty slots. If you have information what key is programmed, you can check if your key is correct. Here I have information what keys are programmed to this particular flash. Let's check first key. Click check. For not valid key, you will have authentication error. Let's enter correct key. Copy this key, enter here and check. Authentication success. It also displays monolithic counter value. This counter is used for encryption of authentication transaction. Host device may increase this counter every transaction from safety reasons. You can also increase this counter with programmer. Here I have also root key 3. Any other key value will not pause authentication. I will show you. Check. Authentication success. Even if I change single digit, it will not pass. Check. Root key free, not valid. Let's program new key on second slot. I will enter some random hex number. Now very important thing. You can program each empty key only once. If you make mistake here, you can fix it only by programming new device. OK, I will save this key in my notes. And let's click right. Now click connect to get new device status. As you can see, now device has three programmed keys. Last thing I'd like to show you 
is Flash Programming. Let's select Memory Device from Memory Database. W74M12JW. Double click. OK. Now upload some random buffer. Edit random buffer and click right. Confirm. Verification pass. As you can see, even if device has programmed some keys, it can be erased and programmed. It's just because keys are used only for authentication, not encryption. Thank you for watching. If you will have any question, please leave a comment. Have a nice day. Bye.